I click a button and up pops a command window. Here I run the DOS command DIR in a directory and the window shows a listing of files. So how did I do that? And here's my code. I create a new process, you can see that here, and I put this in a using statement which is recommended to ensure the correct disposal of the object even if an error occurs. I pass to it a start info object with the file name set to uh, cmd.exe, that's the program that starts the command window, and the use shell execute property is set to true. The arguments are the name of the command, which here is, uh, you can see down here, it's the dir, the directory listing command, followed by a path. And it also has this slash k argument, which tells the command window to execute the command and leave the command processor running. And to run it, well, I simply start the process. Now, I'm not spending too much time here explaining things such as processes, start info, and shell execute, because I've already explained those in other videos. And if you want to master that, go to my C Sharp Projects playlist and watch the series of lessons on creating a file manager and a program launcher. For now, it's enough to know that this is how to launch an application in C Sharp code. And now look at something else. So I'm going to click this button this time, and you can see that I've been able to show a directory listing in a text box on my Windows form, rather than showing it in the default command window. Well, how did I do that? It's all pretty simple, really. This is the code that runs this time. Now, as before, I create a process and set values of a start info uh, object. I set the properties, and the main difference here is that I uh, set use shell execute to false and redirect standard output is set to true, so that the shell, the command window, is not started and the output is not shown in it. The argument slash C down here is passed before the command so that the command is run and the command processor is then ended. Now, the output is directed to standard output, which is a stream reader, that is an object that contains a sequence of bytes or characters. And in order to read all those characters, I call read to end. And I assign the characters to a string variable, that's output here, which I then return and you can see if I go down here that I can then assign that string to the text of the text box to display it. So that's all pretty straightforward and simple. Let's run it again though and try another command. So this time I'm going to try the tree command that you can see down here and let's click that. So this is going to display a graphical tree of subdirectories, but when I direct that output to the text box on my form, let's see it. Oops, hmm, that's not really what I wanted. The, I have a problem here because the box drawing characters uh, are not displayed correctly. And I'll show you how to fix that problem in my next video. Remember that to follow the videos in order, go to the playlists page of my channel and follow the lessons in the C Sharp Projects playlist. To make sure you don't miss any new lessons, subscribe to my channel and click the bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.